Japan says it is concerned over reports that North Korea has successfully tested long-range cruise missiles. The missiles flew this weekend some 1,500 kilometers before hitting designated targets and then falling into Korean waters. Analysts say the weapon is an advance that would mean better avoidance of defense systems in getting warheads across to South Korea or indeed to Japan. Pyongyang says its tests for a new long-range cruise missile were successful over the weekend. State media KCNA on its website described the missiles launched as traveling for 7,580 seconds and reaching targets in North Korean territorial land and waters 1,500 kilometers away. Seoul said it had no advance warning. A hotline reactivated in July was stopped when South Korea U.S. military exercises began last month. There was a question on whether we were notified about the missile launch or if there was any message via the military communication line. I will answer the question by saying that the South North military communication hotline is not working. These latest launches follow a series of missile tests in 2019 and 2020 when talks with the U.S. on denuclearization stalled. And they are the first since March. North Korea also conducted a cruise missile test in January, just hours after U.S. President Joe Biden took office. The Pentagon says this weekend's test posed a threat to North Korea's neighbors. Japan expressed its concern. If it is true North Korea fired a missile with a range of 1,500 kilometers, it is threatening to the peace and safety of Japan and its surrounding region. We are highly concerned about this. North Korea's tests were announced as chief nuclear negotiators from the United States, South Korea and Japan meet in Tokyo this week to explore ways of ending the standoff with Pyongyang.